Ooh, that was kind of nice. Welcome everyone, this is Dom, and welcome back to Kerbal Realism. Today is a short video, um, just to kind of show off this spacecraft or aircraft, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I've been trying to design for many days now. Uh, I haven't really got it right. Um, uh, except for this one. So uh, I went out and I did another one of those flying contracts like we did in the last episode. And we uh, got about almost 150 signs. I think it's exactly 150 signs uh, with just that that mission. I know that they're long and uh, I would have had to do another talkie episode if I did them. Uh, so I'm just doing this in between. But this is a supersonic uh, aircraft. It took me forever, really, really forever to get this thing looking right. Um, and uh, right now we're kind of on an approach uh, in the dark, and I know this isn't the best quality uh, footage, uh, but we're on an approach now back to uh, Kerbal Space Center. It's kind of on the left of us right now. Um, we are flying in from the, uh, more or less the north to approach it. Uh, we went out and I did a similar, uh, like I said, did similar run doing those observation things. And uh, there, it's good, it's decent money, uh, especially considering that uh, these jets are very fuel efficient and you recover them if you land them. Um, and it's also really good for science, which we are going to need very, very soon. Um, and this is more or less setting up uh, next episode, uh, episode 10, where we should be working on our communications, uh, communications satellites. And uh, the reason why I really didn't set up the communication satellites until now is because I was waiting to get a very specific antenna. Um, I want to have an ante the antenna system uh, on an omnidirectional system. So whenever we launch anything out into uh, out of Kerbal's uh, atmosphere, Kerbin's atmosphere, I wanted it to be able to communicate with those omnidirectional antennas on the communication satellites. And as of now, we really didn't have the right range on the omnidirectional antennas. Uh, so uh, this is a mission that would be able to bring us up enough science to unlock the node that I really wanted to use. Um, so yeah, this plane, and uh, since we've decelerated and basically lost all of our altitude as well, uh, it's based, basically designed to cruise at a higher altitude at a higher speed. So I was going about Mach 2, Mach 2.3 on average uh, whenever I was going between the observation nodes um, at about a height of 17 kilometers. Uh, so this was, it took me forever to design this thing right. Uh, so it has low, uh, sorry, it has lower atmosphere intakes on its engines and it also has the uh, high speed intakes on the bottom of the aircraft that we just saw. It's very dark for a landing and I, uh, I don't even know how I did this. <laughs> uh, it took me forever. Uh, but so this is the also the I think Mark II parts uh, from I'm pretty sure this is B9. Uh, the parts that came in 0 0.25 they don't match up exactly with these, uh, but they look about the same. They look about the same, but their uh, center of gravity is separate, and also they're symmetric across their horizontal plane, which is uh, pretty nice for actually trying to get the you know things built. Uh, but for this specific one, I wanted to choose these parts mostly because of the uh, the tail that you can make uh, prop up. Uh, so I prop the tail up uh, with using the built-in functions uh, that B9 gives you, and I put those tail planes on, or those tail elements. I also use the radial mounts for those engines. I think that's also from B9, if I remember correctly. Uh, so here we go on approach. We have our gear out, and uh, we're just about to touch down. It's, I think I'm really too high, so I'm almost at a 200 meters up. I really need to be like at 60 right now. Uh, and really the speed isn't the issue right now, it's more of the alignment and height. So I sh should have done this a little bit further back. And I don't know if we're going to have enough runway. And uh, I just ditched it. Touch touchdown, and I just held the brakes. Oh man, that's a funny sound. I love the sounds, it's great. Uh, so we got Bill and Jeb back, and uh, we're going to recover this. I also had in the spacecraft uh, a science junior, uh, just so we could get some of the science along the way. There was a cargo bay in the front. Here we go, recover, uh, if I remembered where it was. <laughs> okay, big black screen. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, so there's our Science Junior stuff for above the atmosphere. And uh, we got all of our money back, about 30k monies. We're going to go into the Science here and unlock the node that I really need. And it's really out of our range, but I really need that antenna. Uh, the communic Communicatron 32. And also it gives us a couple of generators and such. Uh, but I really need to use the generators with a uh, reactor, which we don't have yet. Uh, so there we go. We just unlocked the parts. Uh, and that's going to be it, guys. Uh, see you in the next episode.